Hello everyone, and welcome to the Unknown Park, our third spot in our theme park month here in Second Life. Also, probably going to be the laggiest, though. I think uh, what I read about this place, they already say that it's a bit laggy. In any case, this is a mainland park, which I think there's one other park on our list that's going to be on mainland as well, but in any case, this is... Quite a big park for what we have. I don't think it's quite as big as Happiness that we went to, but it's pretty filled out. As you can see here already, we have a water slide of some sort and a pool area as well. There also seems to be something across the street that's also part of the park, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that real quick. This park is actually segmented between two regions, which is actually kind of weird. <laughs> and as we get back to the park, you'll be able to see where it's segmented at, because they have like a caution line around it. And we got a racetrack of some sort here. With some cars inside too, some gritty, rusty cards. I remember this shooting game from the last place we went to. Actually got a hit. Oh, a second hit. Okay, so I got three hits, and I got a top hat with some penguins. I didn't know you could actually win this game. <laughs> last time, I don't think I got a single hit. Uh, messed it up. Oh, well. I was done with it anyways. And we got the seahorse race again. This is more for multiple people, so... No real point in trying it out. And we got the tornado again. Nice. And I guess the Unknown Park has a bowling alley, and there's actually quite a number of people here. This is the most people I've seen at one of these theme parks so far. Let's watch this guy bowl for a second. See if he gets a strike. Oh, oh. Oh wow, so close. Just one pin off. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I think things are lagged a bit more here, so things when I try and text refresh them are kind of messing up a bit more. We could probably just go ahead and get on the tornado while we wait for that to get back. It looks like we have another duck game here. Looks pretty nice. Kind of surprised they put a, uh, a ride over here, though. This kind of seems like a separate area from the theme park a bit. But oh well. I like this ride anyway, so... Eh, that's dragging a little bit, but it's still alright. It's actually going to be night here soon from the estate time, so we'll actually get to see the park when it's lit up at night, which it actually looks pretty nice. Like, if, out of any of the parks we've been to so far, I would definitely say that this one would probably be the nicest one to come to at night. Or just put your midnight setting on. There we go. Looks like we got a little ruined building over here for whatever reason.
Just gonna follow this water line and see where it takes us. See if there's anything else over on this side of the area. Uh, this looks like a sitting spot over here by this lagoon. Alrighty, let's head back to the park then. There are plenty of rides off this way, and I assume that gate over there is the exit. There's also like this train track that goes through the entire park that I guess is like a tour of it. Which is pretty neat, though since I think it's just a tour of the park, I'm going to go ahead and just skip that. Because we'll be going through the entire park anyways in this video. We got a drinking spot here already. There's some nice uses of uh, people objects, like the ones you have sitting around and at the bars and whatnot here too. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Oh, whoops. I guess maybe that one had just come back and despawned, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that looks like the case. Do I have to talk to him? No. There we go. Here's one. So let's go ahead and check out this rod. Ooh, nice. And this one's automatic, too. I don't have to control it, so... And you can start seeing what I'm talking about, how we're... Uh... Pretty much at night now, and you can see that the whole theme park is lit up with advanced lighting on, which is really nice. Oh wow, there's even underground segments to this too. That's pretty neat. Not sure what that room is. And it looks like the ride has ended. So far, off to a pretty good start. I like that ride quite a bit. It looks like they have a little pond here for a show. Oh, actually, it looks like... Ooh, a bungee jump. Let's go ahead and try that out. I guess we're going to be climbing this ladder, though. I thought that was going to be an auto-teleport. I can see something off in the distance that I'm pretty sure is not part of the park, but it looks pretty nice anyways. It has like a clock tower and I see what looks to be a gotcha store from the gotcha title on the building. So a little back history to this park, I guess, is that it used to be owned by somebody else uh, a fairly while back. Um, I want to say it was like 10 years ago. 
And I think they've retired, and somebody else has taken care of it as well, and it's just expanded from here. Like, this is a pretty big park. Okay, we've made it up the ladder. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a bungee jump. See how this goes. Oh wow, that's really nice with the camera change and everything. I'm actually quite impressed with that. I didn't know you could have like... an auto camera change like that. <laughs> Like, maybe if experiences, but I don't think I accepted, I don't think this place had an experience, uh, thing. Maybe it did, I don't remember. Looks like there's some stuff down that way. I think first I'm going to go along the area where I started at, because, as I was saying before, and from that yellow line on the ground right there, this is segregated a bit into two regions. So I figured getting everything done in the first region would make more sense. And oh, it looks like we're back at our favorite haunted house here. For... I think this is our second go around with it. be interesting to see if uh, this one has some different stuff inside. Uh, it does look like it does. <laughs> yeah, it's differently it's definitely different from how it was before. So I'm assuming some of this stuff uh, is with the house and then you can put stuff in yourself, which is a pretty nice little deal. Oh, well, yeah, it looks like there's some people over here. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. I actually, uh... actually seem to have bumped the cart somehow off of the track. I was not expecting that. Sheesh. It must be probably due to the lag in this place, I assume. Because usually with, with the last time with this ride, what the sign says on here is that it does two laps and then it'll despawn back at the entrance. And I guess it uh, bumped into the side of the house or something on the second lap. Let's check out up here and see how this goes. Ooh, fireworks. Well, let's go ahead and give it a, sh give it a go, I guess. All right, let's fire it up. Let's see some fireworks. Ooh, very nice. It looks like they actually go all around the park. So I see some over here too. I don't see any behind me, but looks like they're towards the center of the park in any case. Let's go ahead and check inside this room while we're at it. Oh, it's like a little cafe in here. Let's 
a full on arcade in here. That's pretty neat, it even has Pong. Some of these might be like the Java uh, games I've seen off of some of these arcade machines. Though I think some of them are just for show. Alrighty. Guess we'll just continue off here. The fireworks are still continuing to go off, which is nice. It seems to be a long show. Looks like there's like a mini bar over here. Ooh, is that like a bowl? Well, it's a whale, I can tell by the title now, but the whole thing is kind of... There's like a fire going off in my face. <laughs> yeah, it seems like this is stabilizing again. Let's ride the whale. Actually, it looks like there's quite a few people here in this uh, theme park. There was a couple in Happiness uh, as well, but not as many as this. Let's see, how does this uh, go off? Is it the... Like, some of these will auto-start when you sit on them, and then other ones you have to, like, find the button on the ride that starts it up. There we go. Starting up. I think I've ridden this ride before as well. Bit of a twirl look around the entire theme park as we go by. It looks like the ride is slowing down. Or no, it looks like uh, we're going in the opposite direction now. I gotta say that that's probably one of the longest fireworks shows I've seen on here. Because it's still going on. Not that that's a bad thing, but I wasn't expecting it to be still shooting off.
I think we're starting to slow down a bit again. This ride lights up pretty well, though, I have to say. And you can see the little yellow line I was talking about that's right next to this rail coaster. So, all this stuff uh, to my left here. We're going to take a look at a maze thing. Hmm. Well, that's underground, so I think I'll save that for last. Because that might take me all over the place, perhaps. We got a hot dog stand here. Always nice to have a grilled hot dog, though. Rarely do I get the chance to have one now. Like, 4th of July will probably be the next chance I get if I'm not working it. Which usually I am. Alright, let's go ahead and get on the gondola. And take a high view of the park. There's a couple of roller coaster type things going on around here. This big one right here in front of us seems to be the biggest one. But there's also like this giant tower thing that has the red and blue bands attached to it. I'm not quite sure what that is. We'll probably figure it out though. Yeah, this is a nice view right here. Uh, my draw distance is about, uh, I think it's about I think it's 164 or something on those lines, so I'm getting a good bit of the park, but since it's lagging, um, I don't have it as high as up as I usually do. My usual draw distance when I'm out and about is actually 360, but theme parks tend to be very, very complex areas and tends to lag quite a bit, so any sort of not having more stuff besides the theme park attached to it in the surrounding regions, not having that show up is helps out a bit. All right, let's check out check out top spin here. See how this goes for us. I'm not sh sure if the, I guess the ride's still going at the moment, but um, it was basically right in front of me, so. This seems to be just like rocking back and forth. I'm not, uh. I thought it was actually gonna spin in place or something from the name of it, but, uh. Huh. Okay then.
going to jump off here and continue on my way. Has quite a bit of lighting to it, which I like. See the sign behind there is lighting up. <laughs> I always wonder how much of these effects are actually showing up on basic lighting instead of advanced lighting. Alright, so it looks like uh, Unknown Theme Park has the underground por portion as well, which I wasn't expecting. They even have advertisements around for their rides. Got some games and stuff going on as well, which is nice. Not sure what this is, but it looks pretty scenic. It's like cozy down here. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Got a game room, and you got like little scenic spots set up, and I guess this shows uh, the train stations around. We rode the tornado. So. There was one advertisement back that it looked like it was part of the moon shot or something like that area. Okay, so this leads back up towards the top spin. Ah, here's the, I guess, maze. There's a tag game as well. What is this? Let me see. Twisted Towers. Let's go ahead and try out the labyrinth first, I think. I guess this is... I guess we go in here and we try and figure out the pathway. Seems about right. I guess there's treasure over here that we can get. This one's a bit difficult because it's actual just uh... It's like basic glass looking walls so it's uh much more difficult to see the flooring and try and figure out where exactly to go. Which is probably the point, I imagine. It's usually I try and figure these out by the flooring, because some of it is... You can kind of tell when you're looking at the floor a little bit, if it's an open pathway or not. Of course it wouldn't be that easy. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'm assuming we're probably going to have to go off to the left a bit more, I think. Because there's very little pathing to be able to get over that way to the door if I was one square away from it and blocked. So it has to come in from the left somewhere. Is it right up against this? Uh... Huh. Okay. We're very close now. It has to be... Not too much farther here. Let me see. Okay, it looks like... Oh, we're so close. Come on. There we go. We made it. <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay. So we're just taking stuff off the walls. <laughs> sure, I'll just take the treasure chest, take that treasure chest. What about these barrels? Yep, I could take the barrels as well. Nice. Can't take anything from this stash over here, it looks like, though. That was a good plunder, though. Was not expecting to pry a skeleton off the wall and keep it as a prize, but... 
You know, I've kept weirder things. Okay, here's the next challenge. Let's find our way back. Let's see, I'm pretty sure it was down this way somewhere. So we had to take like an extreme left from the starting point, essentially, I think. Ay ay ay. Let me see. I think I'm almost there. <laughs> I hope I am. Okay, yeah, we're almost there. Uh, there we go, okay. Twisted Towers, let's go ahead and give this a try. Was not expecting a ride to be accessible down here, but... Let's find out what we're gonna have. Oh, we're going backwards? I guess it's like one of those ones that go backwards a bit and then shoot off to the front. Or no, we're going like full speed ahead backwards. Oh, I think these are those towers that I was talking about outside. I didn't know what they were. Okay, so I'm assuming this is gonna... Let me see if I'm correct on this. Oh nice, that's some good speed right there. Oh yeah, it looks like we're gonna be like slingshotting back and forth between these two towers. Oh man, that's nice. up some speed again. It's probably gonna take us, uh, I don't know, maybe two more slingshots back and forth to get up to the top. Oh jeez. <laughs> went super up. Oh, nice. Actually, no, it looks like we reached the top just now. <laughs> Wow, that was fun. Uh, I'm assuming it's probably ending now, though. Or no, looks like we're heading back up. Okay. Okay, now it's done. That's probably my favorite ride here so far. Okay, so this the maze thing is actually back here, but I thought the maze was... Okay, let me see if I missed anything back here. Oh, is this the maze they were talking about? Okay, so we got a regular stone wall labyrinth to go through here.
Right, treasure. Nice. Let's continue going. Oh, that was a dead end. Oh, uh, left or right? I'll go right, I guess, this time. Nope, that was a dead end, too. Should have gone off the left. I should have known better. Let me see. Well, there's a bit of something here. Are we getting closer to something? Oh, it looks like we made it back to the entrance. Oh well, we got some we got some treasure out of it, so. So I think at this point we're at about the point where we can cross regions and stay over there. So let's take a look at some of the buildings and whatnot over this way. Oh, we got another game room here. It looks like it's Greedy Greedy. I've never played Greedy Greedy myself. I've played, um... What is it? I've played the Monopoly-style game. I think it's like Simopolis or something like that. That's from, like, the same person that makes those tabletop board games. That one's pretty fun. But it seems like Greedy Greedy and uh, Cards Against Humanity are like the big ones that people like. Oh, we got a club here though. I hear like the sound of dripping water or something on those lines here. That's kind of a weird sound to walk into a club to. Huh. Let's see what's downstairs. Ice cavern. Well, that might explain the the water sound I hear, but uh, oh, got a toilet here. I was not expecting an ice cavern beneath the club, to be honest. That's pretty random. Nice little spot, though. Now let's see what's upstairs. Ah, uh, does this door not unlock? Let me see, just touch it real quick. Okay, yeah, it does. Some doors are finicky like that. Sometimes you have to right click and touch. I guess we got a stage up here as well. Alrighty. I wonder, huh, how should I go about this? I can go over this way and go at that corner, or I could go through the middle of the park. I think, I think I'll actually go through the middle here and ride this giant coaster that's here. There's also another downstairs area, it looks like. And there's a moon cannon, pony rides, curiosity, ice cavern. So I guess there was another way into the ice caverns from the club. 
Okay. I guess I missed it completely, that there was another way. That's ah, our favorite ride, Zub Zero. It's this thing again. Let's see if I can get one correct or not. Like, it's completely RNG. Uh, and here's my profile pick right here. And we got the Moon Cannon, though it's not uh, the complete contract attraction this time. It's just the cannon itself. I think I'll try that out uh, in a moment here. And I guess the pony rides are back here as well. I'm guessing the sign probably translate to like do not feed or these horses bite, I don't know. <laughs> um There's a bathroom in here. That's actually a pretty uncommon thing in Second Life to actually see bathrooms. Time to play uh, Sub Zero again. Like, I feel like every theme park has a Sub-Zero in it. And we finished. Yeah, I guess we can see what's inside of here. They really went all in for the uh, details, I guess. Yeah, there's a set of stairs in here. I'm assuming it's probably up to another entrance. Yep, it is. Okay. Okay, I think the only thing left down here is the moon cannon, so let's go ahead and shoot ourselves up. Say goodbye to the theme park and let's head to the moon. This time we don't have the capsule around us, so it's actually like we can see everything around us, which is kind of weird. <laughs> but if I remember correctly from seeing the advertisement down in the underground area, I think they actually put rides up in the moon, so. Yep, there is one here. That's the entrance we know of. And that's, um, 
space equipment, I think, probably. Actually has like a little number over here, overlay, that's pretty nice. Wild spider. And it's actually a good use of space, as usually when I see this, there's nothing up here besides uh, the entrance down below into the moon. So I actually do like how somebody took the idea of using this area for something. It looks like the ride is ending. Okay. I guess we can go ahead and head down here. I think it's starting to become a bit lighter outside as well. Dawn is starting to break, I guess. If I remember correctly, the... should probably head this way first. Take a peek inside this room. We got some mushrooms and some enemies that have just spawned in. Don't want to hang out with the bugs, so let's go ahead and head this way. There's this little gap over here to the side that you can almost miss the first time you come through, but, but I guess these are the moon people. These bug looking people. And the way out happens to be this well, which actually is kind of clever, but at the same time, it's actually kind of missable too. <laughs> okay. Had a bit of a thing there, but capsule was basically right there, so I go ahead and take it. Unfortunately, when we head off into space like that, it kind of gives an issue of Uh, the entire park having to re-res itself up, so things are going to be a little bit of a mess for a while. And yeah, dawn is breaking. We've actually been here for quite a bit of time already. Let's go ahead and get on the roller coaster, which some other people seem to be on, which is neat. And here we go. Oh, nice. Even got loops.
Oh jeez, the entire like coaster uh the coaster carts are like coming apart. <laughs> Looks like we managed to have a good time there. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna be getting off of here with the uh, with my cart like not attached to the other ones. <laughs> yeah, I think that was. I think that's the biggest. Uh, thing here in the park, it was that. Go ahead and jump on this now. This seems to be something that's gonna go twirling us around back and forth or side to side, something along those lines. You can see the area like getting brighter and brighter by the second, which is kind of neat to see. And it's nice to be able to see the park both at night and during the day. for riding the spin and puke. Yeah, that would probably be about what I'd be doing right now if that was a real life ride. Oh, we got the drop tower here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Looks like there's a clown hanging out here. We also got a chessboard, which I'm not sure if that would actually be playable or not, but seems pretty neat. Uh, this is one of the ones we have to touch to start, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. So this is going to be the type of thing that's going to raise us up quite a bit, and that's going to drop us back down. Wow, you can really see how tall those uh, the twisted towers were. I think that was the name of them. And we're just about as high as they are, too. We can kind of see a little bit of the outer regions here. I'm actually surprised I can see that much, but I assume that the land itself isn't super affected by the draw distance as much as what's on it. There's the bungee jump spot. Gonna drop us down here, yep. Even spinning while doing it, nice. <laughs> and we're going back up for another one.
Nice view of the sun out there and the glistening waters. Here we go. Very nice. I guess they have some bumper cars down here along with something called the magic bullet. Hmm. Yeah, I think we have to go and uh, head back over this way now because we've pretty much uh, gotten everything in the middle now. And we got like a little play place over here too. It looks like there's like a little shop over this way, I assume. Some kid avatars you could probably have here at the park. Yeah, there's some clothing options here and whatnot. A few other assortment things like an artist easel and second life in a box. <laughs> Funnel cakes. Let's go ahead and get on the swinging ship here. Looks like a good bit of this is actually just beach down this way, though there is a bit of attractions down over here, which looks like a pier of some sort, I think. I wonder if this place is going to continue to expand. It's, uh... Already taking probably about a, f a region's worth, I think, of stuff, since it's kind of in that position of being on two regions. Looks like we got a bit of stuff over that way. Looks like most of that is just islands and uh, water that way, though. So there's probably not a whole lot they could go further. Oh wow. Are we going to flip all the way? Are we going to do a loop? No. Almost though. <laughs> I see like somebody out on the water on like a jet ski. It seems like a fairly popular park. Oh, yep, we did the loop. Nice. <laughs> I think we're starting to slow down, though. And we're upside down. <laughs> at least we get to look at the park upside down like this. That's pretty neat. <laughs> I'm actually not sure if that was intentional or if it actually got stuck on like lag for a moment. I guess now we're doing loops in reverse. It seems like it's about over now. 
Well, it was fun. Oh shoot, I don't want to go on it again. <laughs> Alright, got off of it. I guess clicking anywhere on it is actually able to set it off. I just follow this train track here. Oh, no. Looks like it's... Visible barrier of some sort there at the moment. Oh, maybe it's because the train was coming, like, right at that moment. There's some people riding it. I think these are the same ones that were on the coaster with us earlier. In any case, let's see what this little corner of the park has for us. Got a hot copy cop coffee stand. Not hot copy. <laughs> Don't copy that floppy. This looks like one of those spinning rides. There's another one down there that looks like it's about the same thing as well. We got a map of uh, Sensara and Hedrosura. I'm not quite sure how that's pronounced. Which I, I assume that's probably where we are. Ah, okay. I think this is what I was talking about earlier. This is the person that originally started the park, Aid Franklin. I think it's another Franklin that is running it now. See a little bit of the island stuff going on off of here. Pretty sure this is not part of the park. These are probably just private homes. But it's neat to have like a beach and a pier off the water like this. Well, that's closed. Huh. Is there a way to start it up? Let's see. Okay, yeah. I guess I should have looked around a bit more. All right, we're starting up. Alright, we're starting to kind of like move back and forth here. Uh, getting a bit of a bad frame rate drop from looking back at the park over there. All right, now we're starting to spin.
We can go pretty high up on these things. Yeah, it looks like it just ended. So we can go ahead and head down here to the one below here, which is more so closer to the beach, I guess. Ah, there's the stairs, but I guess we can just jump off the track here. This one's called Brick Dance. Okay, I guess this one has one of those uh, button things. Let's see. All right, there we go. This gives us a better view of the water down here. All right, let's start. This one even has like a seatbelt that works on it. That's pretty neat. It's a ni nice little detail. Um. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, unknown theme park. I think your ride is broken. <laughs> pretty sure this is not how this is supposed to go. Well, honestly, this is kind of amusing all on its own. Like, I think the... I think they're moving a little bit. But there's definitely something wrong here. There's like a bunch of jumble of cards over here that look like they've bashed into each other. Alright, um... Well, I can see a beach down here, which is pretty nice. And I guess this is the booth for the ride. Huh. Any case. Uh, we can either go back upstairs and hit off the area that's right next to the beach or stay down here on the beach level. Nice little playground looking area with a s sandbox. I 
I'm impressed by chalk on the sand, though. And I guess that's the bathroom entrance to the underground, right here. This house here is kind of... Like, I'm assuming it's probably like the owner's house or something like that, because it definitely is in a weird spot here. I guess I'd have to go and try and see the entrance from the downstairs again, but... Let's go ahead and keep upstairs for the moment. We don't have too much up here anyways to do. I think there's a couple more rides and that's it. Wild Witch. Let's take a look at this one. Seems to be another coaster. Oh wow, that train like is perfect timing while we're going up the tracks. There's a little bit of stuff down here still. Oh wow, this uh, coaster actually does uh, turns with itself, like it's backwards at the moment. Now I think we're forward again. See someone standing out there towards the center of the park, too. I like how it has the... That's like a little bit of atmosphere to it with like all the dead trees and whatnot around. Kind of gives you an idea of being in a forest for the coaster ride.
like we're at the end. Alright, let's see, uh... Maybe see what this magic bullet's all about down here, perhaps. There's bumper cars here, too, but... I'm much more interested in this magic bullet. I think somebody's about to uh, disconnect here. <laughs> They're doing the walking dance. We'll see how this one plays out. So this is called the magic bullet. I'm assuming we're going backwards like pretty far and then we're just gonna launch forward. Alright. Actually going pretty far back here. Wow, we're going really far back for this. happened <laughs> oh man I I don't think that was supposed to go that way Wow, uh, I'm not having good luck on some of these rides. Like, I make the assumption that it was supposed to pull back and then launch forward. But it seemed to have pulled back and then once it got to the point of getting all the way back, it ejected me from the coaster, so not quite sure what's going on there. Some G Force. Gonna be doing loops around this area. Getting to see the haunted house and the chessboard mostly. This is actually getting pretty fast. Nice.
Oh wow, that's really fast. <laughs> Like, the only reason we're seeing, like, the ground for a split second more than the sky is because of the little bit of delay from the frame rate drop. I think it's starting to slow down now, though. That was fun, though. Like, you don't usually see rides go that fast. Okay. We got whack a pirate again. Balloon bust. It looks like we got something here. I'm not quite sure what it is, but okay, a free fall ride. So this is probably going to be something on the lines of. Uh, like drop tower, but it's probably gonna go straight up and like drop us at the last moment. Yep, we're definitely heading upwards. Oh! Now we're upside down, falling towards the ground again. <laughs> ah, there we go, back up again. Oh wow, where are we going? Just some, we just passed something in the sky. Oh, it looks like a skyship port or something like that. Nice. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, let's see here. I think at this point, we have to head downstairs once again. Oh, what's that? First, let's go ahead and take a look at this house real quick. So I'm slightly curious. Yeah, it's somebody's actual house. It's not like a ride, so I'll go ahead and leave that alone. That's neat, though. I mean, if you own a theme park, you might as well live in it, right? <laughs> This looks like one of those things. Yep, you hang out inside and it's like an autumn sphere, I guess. I'm not quite sure what the background is. It looks like a wall on like an autumn day or something like that. It's like either a really big building or a wall. All these leaves. In any case, this has actually been a pretty uh, fun park so far. Definitely the laggiest, but it definitely 
is put together very well for what it is. Especially on mainland, which is kind of a hard thing to keep things together on mainland. Because you can get boxed in by some pretty annoying neighbors that take away from it, but everything here seems to have gone together really well. You've got islands on one side, and then you have the... I think it's Route 1 on the other side, and you have a couple of places over that way that are just like little towns or shops. Nothing super obnoxious. Let me see if I can get this going. Is there a button somewhere? Is it the machine inside? I'm not quite sure. I had this issue earlier. Can't quite, uh... Touch the machine inside. Maybe from here? Let me see. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Huh. Oh wait, now it's starting to move, okay. Now we're being able to see a upper view from this side now. Oh, this does flips too. Probably, uh, this might be one for third person, perhaps. I like being able to see that, like, set of seats in front of me flip around. <laughs> Like every time mine flips, it just gives me like a mash of yellow in my face. I think it's starting to slow down. Ah, uh, yep, there we go. And into the water I go. I guess that wasn't the correct, uh, time to get off. Let me see if I can just jump back on him. Okay, now that was the correct time to get off, I guess. Sometimes I just make assumptions and they can be wrong. Got a 7 C's vendor here. Should probably try some 7 C's at some point. We got a parachute thing here, which I think is probably... <laughs> You get the e parachute, and this thing will probably take you way up in the sky, and then you parachute down. We got a bouncy castle right here. Take a look at that. Wow. 
That's pretty neat. I think we're actually getting towards the end here, guys. This looks like... One of the last rides that we have here. Sky Squatter. Because we're basically back at where we started at the first place, which was uh, towards the log plume, plume right over there in the pool. And it looks like over there there's a little spot to hang out at. Somebody shooting off fireworks again? Because I see like red dots hanging around. Well, it looks like we're, uh... Ah, oh, there we go. And I think that's about it, guys. Uh, it's possible I may have missed a couple of details here, but I think I've gotten a fairly good general tour of the Unknown Theme Park here. This is definitely the longest video I have so far in this theme park month, but I think my fourth spot's gonna be a smaller spot. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this, and as usual in Second Life, just search up the Unknown Theme Park, and I'm fairly sure it's gonna show up immediately in the searches. This place has been here for quite a long time, so I expect it's gonna be here for a long time in the future. Even the sign, the writing right there says 10 years, unknown club and theme park. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll be back with our fourth theme park here real soon.